And when Martha comes to Jesus and says, Lord, don't you care that my sister isn't helping me, that she's left me to serve alone, tell her to help me. Jesus responds by saying, Martha, you're anxious about many things and there's only one thing necessary and that Mary has chosen the better portion or the good portion and it's not going to be taken from her. Now, what is going on exactly in this, uh, this story? Most people, I think, and most homilies I've heard on this uh, will focus on Martha and Mary as kind of symbols for two aspects of the spiritual life. Activity would be represented by Martha, who's serving, who's doing something. And then contemplation, which is symbolized by Mary, who's simply sitting and receiving and listening to the Lord. And as we're going to see in a minute when we get to the living tradition, that's a very, very ancient interpretation. It goes all the way back to the third century AD with the writings of Origen of Alexandria, who was the most prolific Bible commentator among the early church fathers in the, in the third century AD before the time of St. Jerome. Um, so it's a very ancient interpretation, and I don't want to deny that interpretation. However, it's, a li it's important that we be precise here about exactly what's going on, because sometimes people will say, well, Jesus rebukes Martha for being too active, and, and he approves Mary for being contemplative. But there's a little bit more going on there if you look exactly at what he says here. So notice, if you read the verse carefully here, it says, Martha was distracted with much serving. And then when he responds to Martha's demand that he get Mary to help her, notice what Jesus says. You are anxious and troubled about many things. So if you actually look at the text here, you'll notice that both Luke's description and Jesus' response actually puts the emphasis not just on Martha's serving, but on the fact that she's distracted by her serving. So if you look, the Greek word there, uh, Luke says she was, quote, distracted by much service. The Greek word is perispao. It literally means pulled away. So if you've ever been distracted, you know what that does. Uh, maybe you have an iPhone, maybe you have, uh, you know, or you've seen a, a, a young person on a phone and you say they're being distracted. Why? Well, because they're in a particular situation, but the phone is pulling them away from the present and distracting them with something else. That's actually what the Greek verb perispao means. Something is pulling you away from something else. It's distracting you. So twice Mary is described as being distracted and the second ver uh, word that the text emphasizes is that she is anxious. Uh, Jesus says, Martha, Martha, you are anxious about many things. And the Greek word there, merimnao, is from the word to remember. So she's got a lot on her mind. All right. So she's distracted and she's anxious or worried or fretful about many different things. But Jesus says there, there's only one thing that's actually necessary or one thing that's needful, right? And Mary has chosen it. So whenever you look at this terminology here, it should actually call to mind Jesus' teaching elsewhere in the gospel. When he tells Martha not to be anxious, he uses the same word that occurs in Luke chapter 12, verse 22, when he says to the disciples, and I'm quoting here, do not be anxious about your life, what you shall eat nor about your body, what you shall wear. For life is more than food, and the body is more than clothing. Then he goes on to give his famous examples of, you know, consider the lilies of the field. They don't toil or spin, but they're clothed more gloriously than Solomon. Or consider the birds of the air, right? They don't work, but your father feeds them. So he's saying, don't be anxious, and don't be of an anxious mind, but seek first the kingdom of heaven. That's from Luke chapter 12, verse 20 through 22 to 31. So. Jesus is, the focus of Jesus' response to Martha's demand that Mary help her is actually to correct her for two things. First, she's distracted with her service. It's not just that she's serving, it's that the service is pulling her away from something else. And second, that she's anxious about earthly things, like preparing a meal for Jesus. So, in this case here, it's the service that Martha is providing is leading her to two problems, namely to be distracted and to be worried or to be anxious. And that's what Jesus, so to speak, rebukes her for.